Hi, it's Miriam, the Frugal Chef. Let's make an apple cake today. We used to make this at the deli. It's really easy to make and it's so good. Let me show you how, okay? There's a few steps we need to do to be ready for our cake. Number one, you need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna cook it at 350 for an hour. Number two, I want you to get a cake pan and, um, and grease it, okay? I just sprayed, um, you know, the spray on this. Now, I'm using a rectangular one, and so I'm gonna have a cake that's not super tall. I like it like that. If you prefer to have a round cake, go ahead and use a round, uh, round mold, a cake uh, pan, okay? So, you also need to beat two egg whites until they're stiff. Have those ready because you're gonna fold them in the end. So, okay, let's start. First thing I'm gonna do is whisk a, two cups of sugar with two egg yolks in my bowl here. So let me do that. Don't worry that it's dry because you're gonna add the rest of your wet ingredients to this. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of milk, so a fourth cup of milk. And I'm also gonna add half a cup of oil plus two tablespoons. Okay, this is just vegetable oil. So just add it in there and whisk all those wet ingredients. So the last wet ingredient is vanilla. We'll put two teaspoons in here. Oops, that kind of splattered, okay. All right, so now I just wanna whisk this until it's all nicely mixed. This cake is very, very moist because it's mainly composed of apples. And it's also one of those cakes that tastes better, you know, the older they get. So if you can resist from eating it really uh, early in the game, you will be very, very happy that you did. I don't, can't guarantee you're gonna be able to do that though because the smell of this cake is just Ah, uh, obnoxiously appealing. For the dry ingredients, I have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add those wet ingredients that we mixed into our dry ingredients. Make sure you don't leave any of the ingredients in the bowl. Use your spatula and scrape it nicely into the dry ingredients. I forgot to tell you I also have a teaspoon of salt in my dry ingredients. I'll, I'll write it out for you but so now we just mix this and we add four cups of apples. These apples have been cored, seeded, peeled, and chopped finely. So just dump your apples in there. And a cup of chopped walnuts. So all we need to do now is make sure that all the ingredients are mixed well. Just mix them well, make sure you have no clusters of dry ingredients. Uh, you want to have all those apples coated really nicely. So there we go. All these ingredients have mixed. Oh, this, this is really good. I'm trying very hard not to start stealing pieces of apples here. Now all I'm going to do is fold in my egg whites. So I'm gonna just fold those in nicely. And there you go. I'm gonna put this in my pan and it's gonna go in the oven uh, for about an hour, as I said, at 350. 50 to 60 minutes, just go testing it with your cake tester and when it comes out clean, it's ready. And then I will see you. 
Look at this cake. It is amazingly delish. It's nice and moist. I told you this, you know, is better when it's a few days old, but I will be very surprised if this makes it <laughs> for more than a few days. I'm not going to take it out of here and put it on a platter and frost it. What I'm going to do is frost it with some cream cheese frosting. I have a very short video on how to make this, so check it out. It's super easy, guys. So I'm just going to frost it, and then I'm going to cut it and serve it already cut. You know, because this keeps so nicely and it, you know, gets moisture with the, the days, um, this would be a good dessert to make ahead of time for any celebration you might have. Um, that way you're not tied up the day, or even the day before of your party making dessert. It's ready. And uh, if you decide to make it round, you could even, because it's going to be taller, you know, more compact, you could even uh, frost the middle and, and the top. You might need two recipes of the cream cheese dressing, but I mean frosting, but that'd be nice. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. This is how I'm going to serve my cake. Um, I took a bite of this and it is really, really good. Bon appetit, my friends, from thefrugalchef.com. Make sure you come and visit us with all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Eat well without going broke, and I will see you guys soon.